First Chronicles chapter 9. Once again, children of Israel, children of Yahudah. There is no letter J in the Hebrew alphabet or the Hebrew language. The letter J was invented from the letter I and it was founded over 400 years ago. In our ancestors' names, we have the letters of our Elohim, Yah as in Yahweh, or El as in Elohim, or El Shaddai. Here begins First Chronicles chapter 9. All the Israelites were classified in related groups, and they were already listed in the book of the kings of Israel and the kings of Yahuda or Judah when they were deported to Babylon for their faithlessness. The first to take up residence in their tongues and their estates were the Israelites, the priests, the Levites, and the Oblates. In Jerusalem or Salem live Judeans, Benjamites, Ephraimites, and Manassites. Utai, son of Ammihad, son of Amri, son of Imri, son of Bani, one of the sons of Perez, son of Yahuda or Judah, of the Shalonites, Isaiah, the firstborn, and his sons, of the sons of Zerah, Yuel, also their kinsmen, 690, of the sons of Benjamin, Shalu, son of Meshulam, son of Hudavaya, son of Hasinua, Ibniya, son of Yerohim, Elah, son of Uzi, son of Mitchrai, Meshulam, son of Shifataya, son of Reuel, son of Ibniya. They had 956 kingsmen grouped according to their kingship. All these men were heads each of his family. Of the priests, Yidayah, Yehoirib, Yachin, Azariah, son of Hilkiah, son of Meshulam, son of Zadok, son of Miraiot, son of Ahitub, ruler of the house of Yahweh. Adiah, son of Yerohim, son of Pashur, son of Malchiah, Masai, son of Adiel, son of Yazirah, son of Meshulam, son of Meshilimeth, son of Ima. They had kinsmen, heads of families, 1,700 and sixty stout fighting men who undertook the duties of the temple of Yahweh. Of the Levites, Shemaiah, son of Hashub, son of Azrikam, son of Hashabiah, of the sons of Merari, Bagbagba, Bagbaka, Hirish, Galal, Mataniah, son of Mika, son of Zichrai, son of Esap, Obadiah, son of Shemaiah, son of Galal, son of Yiduthon, and Berichiah, son of Asa, son of Elkanah, who lived in the villages of the Nitophetites. 
the keepers of the gate Shalom, Akab, Talmon, Ahiman, and their king's men. Shalom, their head, still keeps the station at the royal gate to the east. These were the gatekeepers of the camps of the Levites. Shalom, son of Kori, son of Ibiasaph, son of Korah, with his brothers Korahites of the same family, were responsible for the liturgical service. They were keepers of the threshold for the tent as their fathers in charge of the camp of Yahweh had guarded the entrance to it. At one time, Phinehas, son of Eleazar, had ruled them. May Yahweh be with him. Zachariah, son of Melchilimiah, was keeper of the gate at the entrance to the tent of meeting. All the keepers of the gate at the threshold were picked men. There were 212 of them. They were grouped by relationship in their various villages. These were confirmed in office by King Dawood or King David and Prophet Samuel the seer because of their loyalty. They and their sons had the guardianship of the gates of the temple of Yahweh. The house of the tent on the four sides stood the, gate, stood the keepers of the gate, east, west, north, and south. Their king's men in their villages would come to join them for a week from time to time since the four head gatekeepers themselves lived there permanently. They were the Levites responsible for the chambers and treasuries of the house of Yahweh. They spent the night in the precinct of the house of Yahweh, their duties being to guard it and open it every morning. Some of them were responsible for the furnishings of worship. They counted them whenever they put them away and took them out. Certain others were in charge of the furniture and all the sacred furnishings. The fine flour, the wine, the oil, the incense, the spices, while those who prepared the mixture for the spices were priests. One of the Levites, Matataya, he was the firstborn of Shalom, the Korahite, was because of his loyalty, made responsible for making the offerings that were baked on the pan. Some of their king's men, the Kohatites, were responsible for the loaves to be set out in rows, Shabbat by Shabbat. These are the cantors, heads of the Levitical families. When free from service, they lived in the temple chambers because they were on duty day and night. These were the heads of the Levitical families grouped according to their kingship. These heads live in Salem, what you call Jerusalem. The ancestors of Saul, King Saul, at Gibeon lived Abi Gibeon and Yiel, whose wife was called Maeka. His firstborn son was Abdon, and then Zer, Kish, Baal, Ner, Nadab, Gido, Ahio, Zachariah, and Mikloth. Mikloth became father of Shimeam. These also, near their king's men, lived with their king's men in Salem or Jerusalem. Ner became father of Kish, Kish father of Saul, Saul father of Jonathan, or who you call Jonathan, Malchi, Shua, Abinadab, and Eshbaal, son of Jonathan or Jonathan, Mary Baal, 
Meribel became father of Mika, sons of Mika, Piton, Milek, Taria, Ahaz became father of Yara, Yara father of Alimeth, Azmaveth, and Zimri. Zimri became father of Moza, Moza father of Binia, Rifaya his son, Eliazah his son, Azel his son. Azel had six sons, their names were these. Azrikam, his firstborn, then Ishmael, Bochiru, Shiariah, Obadiah, Hanan, these were the sons of Azel. Here ended the reading of First Chronicles chapter 9. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah.